When I was growing up, if I was in a room that was kind of dim or a little bit dark trying to do something, my dad would always walk in and he would say, let's turn the light on, let's shed a little light on the subject. And I think about that when he would flip that switch, how the light would actually just illuminate, make things so much easier to see. Why do we try to do things when things aren't are dim or dark? Don't we want to see the best possible? Psalm 119, David said this, The word is a light into my path. And in John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The definition of light is this, something that makes vision or sight possible. Don't we want our eyes to be open to be able to see the very best that we can, especially when it comes to deal with our lives? Whether you want to admit it or I want to admit it, a storm is coming and with the storm comes darkness. But I want to shed as much light on the storm of my life as possible. And how do we do that? We do that by reading the Word of God. It also says that light makes something start to burn or illuminate. I want as much light as I can on every situation that I'm going through. The Word of God is the light unto my feet. Open your Word. Read the Bible, especially when you are going through a storm. It doesn't require batteries. It doesn't require to be charged, but it charges you. It is always appropriate and always available. And God's Word is living. It's, it's sharper than a two-edged sword, and it will provide you the exact light that you need for whatever experience that you're going through. So today, light up what you're going through, turn a little light on the subject, and open the Word of God and let it illuminate the path for you.